From planets with glass rain and oceans of lava to worlds with three suns and giant diamonds, our universe is full of surprises. Sometimes we find celestial bodies that shouldn't even exist at all. But despite all logical reasoning, they live and thrive. In 2023, we discovered another impossible planet. TOI 5295b. Once again, our universe turns out to be much more complicated than we thought. And this isn't the only strange planet that we've discovered in recent years. So, let's take a look at a couple of these impossible planets. TOI 5205b is the first one on the list. This is an unusually large planet orbiting a small star. It's located about 280 light years from Earth. It's quadrillions of miles, but on a cosmic scale, it's pretty close. This planet was discovered just recently, in 2023. So why is it so special? Because it doesn't follow the rules of planetary formation, like other planets in its neighborhood. TOI 5205b is a bit of a rebel because it orbits a tiny red dwarf star that's only four times larger than Jupiter. What's so weird about it, you ask? Well, you see, a red dwarf is basically like the runt of the litter in the world of stars. This type of star is rather cold, about two times colder than the sun. They have a reddish tint, hence the name. And yep, stars work quite strangely. The closer they are to red, the colder they are, and the closer to blue, the hotter they are. Hey, I don't make the rules. Anyway, because of all this, they aren't very bright. So without a good telescope, you won't see them in the sky. But they aren't just some space losers. They're the most common stars in the universe. They also live much longer than our sun. And thanks to this, they usually have a bunch of different planets orbiting them, including those similar to our Earth. So if one day we decide to find a new home, it may well be near some red dwarf. But here's the catch with TOI 5205b. It's a gas giant. Gas giants like, for example, Jupiter or Saturn are the behemoths of the universe. These planets are mainly made up of gases like hydrogen and helium. They don't have a solid surface like Earth or Mars, so you can't exactly land on them without getting crushed by the immense pressure. And they're not called giants for nothing. They're absolutely massive. In fact, if you took all the other planets in our solar system and squished them together, they still wouldn't be as big as Jupiter. In other words, they're the gassy wrestlers of the planetary family. So, how is it possible that such a huge planet orbits such a small, weak star? Red dwarfs are usually considered too small to host gas giants. Moreover, it's physically impossible. Or at least, so we thought. But TOI 5205b had other plans and decided to form near a red dwarf anyway. It's like a small pea orbiting around a lemon, which doesn't sound that bad until you remember that Jupiter next to our sun is like a pea next to a basketball. Only really big stars are able to keep such big planets nearby. This had astronomers scratching their heads as it went against everything they thought they knew about planet formation. And while we try to figure out how TOI 5205b managed to break the rules, the planet itself seems pretty content to blaze its path through the cosmos. And it isn't the only one. In recent years, scientists have discovered a bunch of such forbidden planets. So let's check out the other ones. For example, TOI 3757b, a giant planet with the density of a marshmallow. Imagine a giant planet that's so soft and fluffy, it's like a marshmallow floating in space. That's right, TOI 3757b is a gas giant that's been dubbed the Marshmallow Planet because of its incredibly low density. Of course, it's not edible and cute like real marshmallows, but it would still be fun to touch it. This planet was discovered in 2022. It's located in the constellation of Auriga the Charioteer, 591 light-years from us. 
Just like the previous one, it's also orbiting around a red dwarf star. And get this, TOI 3757b only takes around three days to complete one orbit. Imagine having a birthday every three days. It's also incredibly close to its star, just some 3.5 million miles away. For comparison, the distance between the Sun and the planet closest to it, Mercury, is about 36 million miles. So TOI 3757b is like right on top of its star. Let's hope this marshmallow planet doesn't get too toasted. Now let's talk about how this planet was discovered. It was spotted by the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, or TESS, a space detective on the hunt for new planets. The transit detection method is when scientists use the star's light to find their planets. When the planet passes through the star, it blocks a tiny portion of the star's light, making it look a little dimmer for a while. Scientists can detect this dip in brightness using special instruments. If the dip happens regularly, they can tell that there's a planet orbiting the star. The size of the dip in brightness tells scientists how big the planet is and how close it is to the star. If the dip is really small, that means the planet is probably pretty small too. And if the dip happens more frequently, that means the planet is probably closer to the star. And this is how we discovered our marshmallow planet and many other ones. Overall, TOI 3757b is a fascinating planet that's captured our imaginations with its unique properties. Now, let's move on to the next mysterious celestial body. TYC 8998-760-1b on the border of a planet and a star. Whew, that was a mouthful. Let me introduce you to a planet whose name I won't repeat. Well, this baby is also a gas giant, but not just any gas giant. In fact, it's so big, it could make Jupiter feel like a tiny pebble in comparison. I mean, it's 14 times the mass of Jupiter and three times as big around. Isn't that impressive? It orbits a very young, sun-like star 300 light years away. This star is only 17 million years old, and yes, it's considered a baby among the stars. For comparison, our own sun is about 4.5 billion years old. But the star itself isn't that interesting. The planet, on the other hand, is a bit of a weirdo. You see, planets just can't be that big. With its enormous mass, it should be a star. It's kind of like the Caspian Sea, which is considered the largest lake in the world. Just as the Caspian Sea isn't really a sea or a lake, this planet is the middle child of the universe. Not quite a star, but not exactly a planet either. Some scientists think that it might be a failed star, which is like saying a cake that didn't rise properly. And let's talk about its temperature. You know how you feel like a baked potato when it's 90 degrees Fahrenheit outside? Well, this planet laughs at us. Its estimated surface temperature is a whopping 2,600 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hotter than a jalapeno popper straight out of the fryer. This time, the planet was discovered by the imaging detection method. You see, capturing pictures of exoplanets is no easy feat. The star is always way brighter and ruins the pic. It's like trying to take a selfie with your crush while your annoying little sibling is jumping up and down in front of you. But scientists have a solution. They use some specialized optics and clever observation methods, like coronography. They basically block out the light of a star so that we can see the planet more clearly. Magic, right? And that's how they discovered this not-a-star planet too. And now it's giving scientists a lot to think about. It makes us question what we know about the formation of planets. Let's hope we'll find out more about it in the future. It's amazing to think about the weird and wacky things that exist in our universe, and these planets definitely fit the bill. Who knows what else is out there waiting to be discovered? Maybe someday we'll find a planet that's even more impossible than the ones we just discussed. Until then, keep your eyes on the skies and your mind open to the infinite possibilities of our universe. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.